From our last video tutorial, we learned how to apply different laws of exponents or rules in simplifying exponential expressions. Now, keep in mind that some problems will require us to apply more than one rule. Kaya naman, gusto kong isipin niyo muna ang tanong na ito. Papaano kung malalaman na ang exponential expression ay nakasimplest form na? May idea ka ba? Well, may apat na considerations na kailangan masatisfy para makasigurado na simplified na ang exponential expression. Ano-ano sila? Exponential expressions are said to be in simplest form if kailangan masatisfy itong lahat. 1. All exponents are positive. Self-explanatory na to. Kailangan wala kang makikitang negative na exponent. Pangalawa na kailangan masatisfy, there are no powers of powers. Paano malalaman to? Dapat yung mga monomial na nakaparenteses, wala ng uh, exponent sa labas. Pangatlo, each base appears only once. Kung wala namang operation na addition and subtraction, kailangan daw yung mga numbers or variables or symbols isang beses lang makikita sa isang expression. And pang-apat, sampre, all fractions are in simplest form. Again, kailangan masatisfy yung apat na conditions na yan or considerations. Let's have examples. Instruction, simplify. Leave your answer with positive exponents only. Tandaan natin na kahit ng instruction ay simplify lang, o kaya simplify the following exponential expressions, it is understood na dapat yung final answer natin, positive exponent lang involved. We have six examples in this video tutorial. First example, we have 3 raised to 4 times 3 raised to negative 2 times 3 raised to 0. We have 3 factors. Ang ginawa dun sa LAS natin, yung unang factor, in-skip niya muna yan kasi nga wala namang rule na pwedeng i-apply dyan. Yung pangalawang uh, factor, meron ba yung negative exponent rule. Ano bang sabi niya? Ang sabi niya, kapag yung base mo may negative na exponent at gusto mo matanggal yung negative na exponent, ang kailangan mo lang gawin ay kunin yung reciprocal ng base, which is 3. Ang reciprocal ng 3 ay 1 over 3. Tapos, kukopihin mo daw yung exponent ng negative 2. Pero dapat magiging positive na kasi nga, kinuha mo na yung reciprocal ng base niya. Next ay yung third factor, 3 raised to 0. Gamit ang zero exponent rule, alam naman natin na any number or any thing raised to 0 except 0, except for 0, is always equal to 1. Kaya sinimplify niya muna isa-isa yan. Kaya mangyayari dyan, magiging 3 raised to 4 times 1 over 3 squared times 1. No? Bawat factor in niya ng rule na pwedeng i-apply. Next is to apply multiplication. How do we multiply expressions that involve fractions? Correct. We multiply numerator to numerator to numerator and then denominator to denominator to denominator. 3 raised to 4 times 1 times 1, that is 3 raised to 4. And 1 times 3 raised to 2 times 1 is still 3 squared. Kaya yan ay magiging 3 raised to 4 over 3 squared. Tapos, ito ay obvious na obvious. Pwede nga ng quotient rule. Kailan ginagamit ang quotient rule? Ayun, tama. Kapag meron kang fraction na kung saan yung numerator at denominator may parehong base. In this case, ang base natin ay parehong 3. Kaya, applyan natin ang quotient rule. Kukopihan yung base na 3, tapos ipagsasubtract yung exponents nila. Kaya magiging 3 raised to 4 minus 2. 4 minus 2 is simply 2. So, 3 squared is 9. Now, I am presenting to you an alternative solution that you can use. No? Kopihan ko muna yung given. 3 raised to 4 times 3 raised to negative 2 times 3 raised to 0. Ito ang uh, technique na pwede kong maibigay sa inyo. Kapag nakita mo na ang operation involved ay multiplication, tapos may nakita ka na base na pare-pareho, apply mo na ng product rule. Kahit may nakita ka pang negative exponent o kaya zero exponent. Okay? Ano bang sabi ng product rule? 
kapag yung pinag-multiply mo ay may pare-parehong base, kopihin mo lang yung base, tapos yung mga exponents ay ipag-add mo lang. Copy the base, ano base niya? 3. Tapos yung exponent magiging 4 plus negative 2 plus 0. Okay? Or kahit na i-disregard mo na yung 0 doon kasi nga wala lamang siyang effect. And 4 plus negative 2 is simply 2. Kaya 3 squared lang yan. Okay? Ito ang alternative solution natin which is I think uh, faster and simpler than this one. Pili kayo. Item 2, we have 79 times the quantity x raised to negative 5 raised to 0. Ang ginawa dun sa LAS natin, sin sinimplify niya muna itong nasa loob ng parenthesis gamit ang correct, negative exponent rule. O paano ginagamit yun? Kunin ang reciprocal ng base, which is x. Reciprocal ng x ay 1 over x. Tapos, kukopihin yung exponent, pero magiging positive na yun. Kaya magiging 1 over x raised to 5 yung nakaparenthesis. And then, copy everything. Okay? Next, ay, ang ginawa nyo dun ay, since itong nakaparenthesis na to ay may 0 exponent, itong nakaparenthesis na yan ay magiging 1 lang. Kaya magiging 79 times, 1 lang yan. And final answer, of course, is 79. Sir, can I proceed here? Skip ko na po ito. Yes, that's better. Okay, dapat dito pala makita mo na, na ito, itong, itong pangalawang factor ay equal to 1 lang. Kaya yan ay 79 times 1 lang. Number 3, we have the quantity x raised to negative 2, y raised to 0, z raised to the 4th power. Ang ginawa sa LAS natin, sinimplify niya muna yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. Gamit ang negative exponent rule, saka 0 exponent rule. Reciprocal lang x. 1 over x, tapos yung negative 2 magiging positive 2 na. Tapos yung y raised to 0, yung pangalawang factor natin, magiging 1 lang yan, kasi nga, 0 ang exponent niya. Yung z, wala tayong magagawa dyan, wala tayong rule na pwedeng i-apply dyan, kaya kukopihin lang natin. Okay, tapos nakaparenthesis pa rin yun, raised to 4. Okay, next, itong nakaparenthesis na to ay product Kaya yan ay product raised to a power. Ano pa paano ginagawa yun? Bawat factor makakatanggap ng power na yun. Mumultiply mo lang yung exponent nila by that uh, power. Okay? Distribute muna natin. Ayan. Bawat factor makakatanggap ng power na 4. Yun ang nangyari dyan. Tapos, itong nakaparenthesis na to, both the numerator and the denominator, quotient, uh, raising a quotient to a power ito, yung 1, may exponent na 1, yung 1 na yun, yung exponent, mamultiply mo sa 4. Kaya magiging 1 raised to 4 ito. Yung sa denominator naman, ganun din ang gagawin natin, yung exponent niya, mamultiply sa 4, kaya magiging 8 yan. Yung pangalawang factor naman, 1 raised to 4, simplify mo yan, 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 is still 1. Itong pangatlong factor, nakasimplify na yan. Kaya wala tayong problema dyan. So, ito lang simplify natin dalawang to. Magiging 1 raised to 4 or 1, simply 1, over x raised to 8 times 1 times z to the 4th. Tapos, pag multiply mo yung tatlong yan, numerator to numerator to numerator, z to the 4th yun. Tapos, denominator to denominator to denominator, x to the 8th lang yun. Kaya, ang final answer natin, z raised to 4 over x raised to 8. Now, here is an alternative solution that you can consider. Copyin natin yung given. So, pwede natin gawin dyan ay um, didistribute na natin yung 4 na nasa labas sa bawat factor. No? Paano yun? Yung exponent ng bawat factor, i-multiply natin dun sa exponent na yun na nasa labas. Kaya, negative 2 times 4, negative 8. Tapos, 0 times 4 is still 0. Kaya, 1 pa rin yan ang labas niya. ba? Kaya, kahit na wag mo na isulat. Next, yung third factor na 0, or z rather, 1 yung exponent, multiply mo sa 4. 4, 4 yun. Kaya, kapag yan, distribute mo, magiging x raised to negative 8 times z raised to 4. Nawala na yung 1 kasi nga 
wala namang effect sa multiplication ng 1. Next, ay may negative exponent. Kunin natin ang reciprocal ng x magiging 1 over x. Tapos yung negative 8 magiging 8 na. Kaya magiging 1 over x raised to 8 yan times z to the 4th. Tapos multiply na natin agad. Okay? z to the 4th over x raised to 8. Sir, pwede po bang pagsabay-sabayin ko na mga steps tulad ng ginawa ninyo sa alternative solution? Much better, lalo na kapag sigurado naman kayo sa ginagawa ninyo. Item 4, uh, which is quite challenging. We have 12w raised to the 12th, x raised to 5th, y raised to 6 z raised to negative 2, over 18w to the 5th, x to the 7th, y raised to negative 4, z raised to 4. Obviously, yung uh, numerical coefficient na 12 and 18 are factorable. Ibig sabihin, pwede pa silang i-reduce into its lowest uh, term or form. Ano yung GCF nilang, nilang dalawa? Correct, 6. Divide natin yung 12 and 18 by 6. Cancel, cancel, magiging 2. Ito magiging 3. Next, ay dahil yan ay quotient, may fraction kang involved, pwede mong gamitan yan ng quotient rule. Anong sabi ng quotient rule? Basta meron kang parehong base, magkaparehong base sa numerator at denominator, pwede mo siyang gamitan ng quotient rule. Papaano? Kukopy mo lang yung base, tapos subtract. Laging numerator minus denominator is uh, exponent. Kaya magiging W raised to 12 minus 5, tapos X raised to 5 minus 7, Y raised to 6 minus negative 4, Z raised to negative 2 minus 4, all over or over 3. Okay, yun lang ginawa natin. Parang detailed, detailed lang yung ating presentation. 12 minus 5, 12 minus 5, 5 minus 7, 6 minus negative 4, negative 2 minus 4. So dito sa LAS natin, wala ka nang makikitang variable sa denominator. No? Kasi nga, magkakapareho sila, mayroon silang kapares. Kaya wala talaga maiiwan sa denominator. Tapos, simplify mo lang yung bawat uh, exponent natin. 12 minus 5, 5 minus 7, etc., etc. Kapag na-simplify na yun, tignan mo kung may negative exponent ka. Pag may negative exponent ka, gamitan ng negative exponent rule. Kunin lang reciprocal, tapos kukopihin yung exponent or yung positive ng exponent. Final answer, 2w to the 7th, y to the 10th, over 3x squared, z to the 6th. Yung itong factor na to bababa, sa so, ayaw kasi nga may negative exponent. Kaya yun yung final answer. Yun yung ating uh, solution na nasa LAS. So, alternative solution natin, papakita natin na ang cancellation ay best na gamitin kapag meron kang fraction na involved. No, titignan mo lang kasi kung may magkaparehong variable. So, pwede na yung cancellation done. Unahin natin yung 12 and 18 kasi nga may, parehong, may GCF sila na 6. Kaya magiging 2 thirds pa rin yan. Okay. Tapos, uh, tignan mo yung dalawang variables na magkakamuka sa numerator and denominator. So, we have W to the 12th and W to the 5th. Yung W to the 5th na mas mababa ang pinipili lagi. Ika-cancel mo yung buong yun. Tapos yung 12, yung mas mataas, kung nasaan man siya, numerator man ang denominator, babawasan mo ng exponent nung nasa baba. Kaya yung 12, babawasan mo ng 5, magiging 7. So, basically, yun ay 12 minus 5 lang, 7. Next, Yung pangalawang variable, we have x. Piliin ang mas mababa. Ayun, x to the fifth, pero nasa numerator siya. Yung buong yon ikakancel mo. Yung nasa baba, na mas mataas naman, yung exponent lang ikakancel natin, 7. Tapos, subtract natin. What is 7 minus 5? Answer? Of course, 2. Pangatlong variable, we have y to the sixth and y to the negative 4. Alin lang mas mababa? Correct. Itong y raised to negative 4. So, ikakancel natin yung buong yan. Tapos, yung 6, babawasan natin ng negative 4. Take note, laging subtraction yun. What is 6 minus negative 4? Correct. 10. Next, lastly, we have z raised to negative 2. 
and z to the fourth. Alin ang mas mababa? Okay, correct. Yung may negative 2. Kaka-cancel natin yung buong yan. Tapos yung 4. Anong gagawin sa 4? Correct. Babawasan ng negative 2. What is 4 minus negative 2? Correct. 6. Ayan na. Yung answer. So, kopihin mo yung buong yan. 2w to the 7th y to the 10th over 3x squared z to the 6th. And tapos na. Di ba? Mas malilis siya. Consider mong gamitin ang cancellation kapag meron kang fraction. No? Okay? Item 5 ay parang mas madali rin kasi nga may zero exponent tayo doon. Kaya 1 lang yung numerator na yan. Tapos yung denominator, mapapansin natin na nakaparenthesis yan. Tapos may negative na exponent. Kaya yan ay uh, product to a power. Kaya ako kopihin muna natin yan kasi alam natin magkakareceptical tayo dyan. Kaya, kopihin muna natin yon Pero yung numerator, simplify na natin dahil 1 lang yon Next, ay yung negative 2 na yan, indicates na kukunin natin yung reciprocal ng base na to na naka-parenthesis na yan, yung buong yan. Ano ba ang reciprocal ng uh, x? 1 over x. Anong reciprocal ng 1 over x? x. Kung nasa numerator siya, reciprocal niya, dali mo lang sa denominator. Kung nasa denominator siya at kukunin mo ang reciprocal niya, dali mo sa numerator. Ito, nasa denominator, kaya reciprocal niya, dali mo lang sa numerator. Pag dinala mo sa numerator, yan, kasama yung exponent, pero magiging positive. So, yun ang mangyari. Next, yan ay product to a power. Ibig sabihin, bawat, bawat factor, yung 12a squared b cubed, makakatanggap ng 2 na exponent. Paano yun? Mumultiply lang natin yung exponent ng bawat factor dun sa 2. Kaya magiging 12 squared, tapos yung a squared, square mo, yung b cube, square mo rin. Or simply, pwede lang dumiretso dito, alam mo naman kasi na yung 12 squared ay 144, yung a squared 2 times 2, 4, yung b cube 3 times 2, 6. Item 6, we have 16 raised to negative 2, p raised to negative 4, r raised to 0, over the quantity 12a squared, b cube raised to negative 2. So, gawin natin, umpisahan natin sa mga may negative na exponent. Kukunin mo lang reciprocal niya. Yung 16 raised to negative 2, pupunta ng denominator, magiging 16 squared. Yung p raised to negative 4, magiging uh, p raised to 4 sa denominator. Yung r raised to 0, magiging 1 lang yan. Tapos, itong buong to, may negative na exponent, nasa denominator siya, dali mo ng numerator, tapos yung exponent yung negative 2, magiging positive 2. Okay. Next, uh, meron tayong product raised to a power. Kaya, distribute natin yon sa bawat factor. Magiging 12 squared, a squared raised to 2, b cube raised to 2, over 16 squared, b raised to 4. And last step, simplify natin yung bawat factor na pwedeng masimplify pa. Yung 12 squared magiging 144, a squared raised to 2 magiging a raised to 4. Yung b cube raised to 2 magiging b raised to 6. Yung 16 squared magiging 100, magiging uh, 100, magiging 256, and p raised to 4 ay p raised to 4 pa rin. Okay, final answer na ba yan? Check natin. Okay, wala ng negative na exponent, wala na ring parenthesis, wala nang nauulit ng variable or number. Tapos, uh, okay, yung fraction, pwede pang isimplify yan. Dahil obviously, meron silang common factor. Pero, to simplify, to get the simplified form, kunin natin yung GCF nila. Anong GCF na 1, 4, 4, and 2, 5, 6? Okay, that is 16. 144 divided by 16 is 9. 256 divided by 16 is 16. Kaya ang final answer natin, 9A to the 4th, B to the 6th, over 16P to the 4th. Okay, that will be all. Thank you.